welcome to another Dawn and Julia Create. So Dawn has set the challenge this time and we are to make a mixed media project using only recycled items. Now by that I am going to interpret as that we didn't originally buy the product for craft but it somehow ended up in our stash as something that we could alter. So whether that's genuine recycling but I have a drawer full of random bits so some of these are purchased and some of them are bits that I have collected and it's the same with this drawer so I have scrabble tiles and you know these um, blind bag toys that the kids have so I am going to use all of this and or have a rummage through see what we find and try and create something beautiful okay so well i just had a, a lovely rummage through my stash i've forgotten half the things i'd saved and the ideas that i had eons ago so it's kind of reinvigorated that creativity i must revisit some of those ideas at some point but this is what i chose for today so this was a sort of one of those blind bag toys i was talking about that a little sort of genie came in that's a bit of a broken tiara plastic tiara and some wrappers from gold coins and um, which I'd actually saved for a pirate project but I thought they would work on this project as well so I'm sort of taking um, the bottle off that sort of fancy keyring I think that fancy keyring could make a funky window um, not that I'm doing that in this project but in a future one so I've squiddled it away again you just saw me heating up this um, um, bit of plastic jewellery here and that's because I wanted to remove the gem I want to use the, dre the gem so obviously we're using recycled elements so I'm not going to be able to bring my gems in at the end so I want to be able to use that but I also want to paint that bit of plastic to make it look slightly better so I'm kind of taking off this hinge so that I've got a bottle shape so I have this idea in my head um, I have struggled with this we will we will go through my various struggles <laughs> <laughs> I had this idea in my head and I'm not sure I fully achieved it um, but it basically of this really colourful potion bottle I was thinking of the colours of like Encanto you know when it's really bright colours um, with this sort of layer of gold over it um, and then I was also thinking that it was a potion bottle so this sort of magical fantastical potion would um, come out of the top of the bottle so um, that is what I am attempting to achieve so first of all I am going to create a base so I've got cardboard Don will have used cardboard as well quite frankly we both hoard it and I'm pretty sure Don will have exposed the cardboard as well that's a given I don't think we can count points for that because we both always do it um, so yes I save my cardboard and um, I do hoard it so I do try not to let it get out of control I have a box that I keep my cardboard in and if it fits in the box I keep it and if I don't have room in my box the cardboard goes into the recycling otherwise it would get out of control so I have got the trusty old gel medium out because we are working with multiple surfaces uh, first of all, what I am going to do is just gel medium two layers of cardboard together. This is because we are actually working on cardboard as our canvas. Um, so to make it a lot stronger, I am layering the two cardboards. So it's double the strength of cardboard and also gel medium will make it really tough too. Um, then I am, this is me starting my potion idea. So I am using the gold coins or the gold, the wrapper from the gold coins um, to create this sort of 3D texture coming away from the bottle. So at the minute I've not actually stuck the bottle down, I'm just using that for placement because we'll be working on the two pieces separately and bringing them together at the end. So I am just kind of sticking everything down with gel medium. Once that is done, I will leave um, the canvas part of it to dry whilst we start working um, on the bottle. So I'm just sort of roughly getting a shape that I want. Um, do be prepared for your mixed media work to go through a few ugly stages. It happens, um, but just keep persevering. You will get there in the end. So at this point, it always looks really tacky and gaudy because normally we've saved um, you know, recycling stuff that's not the best quality, quite frankly. Um, so that's why it looks a bit tacky. So we are coming out with a black gesso. We will make it all look wonderful now with the wonders of a gesso. I have gone for black because, again, I was thinking of that sort of mystical, romantic 
bottle of exciting stuff um, and I just thought that it would work well with black. So as you can see I'm struggling to get the gesso to stick to the surface there so we stick it down and I think in total the bottle gets about three or four coats um, and then we have multiple coats of paint but that's a whole other story and we will get to that you know in due time <laughs> and I'm also covering the little um, broken tiara piece as well covering that in black and then we are going to paint it now I am going to go and go on about this thing again because I love it my um, wet paint palette it is the best thing since sliced bread it's one of those things I've wanted for ages they're really not that expensive and I should have got forever ago because it makes a huge difference this particular project took layers and layers and layers of paint over multiple days because you had to paint it let it dry paint it let it dry but the wet palette it stayed like that it stayed like that for days and um, in my last project I left it and um, I think altogether I got about four weeks out of it and um, it did turn a bit moldy I'm not gonna lie but that's because I was testing it and um, with this particular project what I am going to try is I am going to clean away the paint probably put that in a journal um, and try drying out the the wet palette and the paper maybe need a radiator or something and see how many uses I can get out of it but honestly I will link to one in the description box but it is the best thing for mixed media or any form of acrylic painting it will make your paints last so much longer because they just um yeah they don't dry out so you're actually using your paints not throwing them away or because they're all dry and lumpy now to try and create this sort of mystical exciting romantic -y, smoky type thing I don't quite know if there's a word for what I was trying to create so you know uh, we're swallowing a dictionary maybe I should look up a thesaurus I decided to go with some um metallic paints so that we get a sort of pearlized shimmer so these are some Derwent ones that when I got on holiday and I am just sort of splodging it on and letting it as you can see there letting it ooze and run into the gaps of the um the coins the metal coin things what are they called wrappers yeah so that is kind of how it looks there now this point the that, that bottle has had about five layers now of paint um, and I just thought there was a little bit of a disconnect between the colour of the bottle and the smoke because that's kind of what I had in my head and I thought no it needs to marry together so then I thought how about these sort of like colourful little swirls that match the bottle so I drew in these sort of like uh, little drip shapes for want of a better word and I have just um, painted those in so I'm going to use the same three colours that are on the bottle and just um, so just so the two sides of the project look like they belong together I didn't think they did at the certain point um, so that's why I tried this we try lots of things I will I'm just warning you now we try lots of things to try and make this work I'm also doing a bit of dry brushing with those same colours there we still get the kind of pearlescent effect in the background but it's just trying to tie the colours in together so that it looks uniform I kind of wished I'd thought about these blobs a little bit earlier because I'm already on layer six on my potion bottle and we're only on layer one on the background and of course it's going to need equal amount of layers although in the end I just stuck with the two and decided that you know if it was coming out the bottle it would be a slightly different tone anyway so not to worry about it overly so we just um, paint these in like so now I have used various types of paint the blue paint was a lovely paralyzed paint and it covered the better better um, the pink and the yellow not so much so I kind of felt like the blue had this lovely sheen on it but the other two the the pink and the yellow didn't have that same sheen so I just dry brushed it with the gold paint to try and create that sort of pearlized look over all of it and then because gold is kind of going to be the main theme that ties the two sections of it together um, I dry brush the um, fantastical smoke in it as well to emphasize the gold on the bottle I am using my trusty um, Pebio gilding wax this is furniture grade I have had this longer than my daughter is born was born so I had it a good few years before she was born she's currently 11 so this is probably 13 14 maybe 14 15 years old and as you can see I've only used a bit quarter of it it's amazing stuff 
Um, so it's good to kind of activate it. You kind of pop it on your finger, tap it into the lid a little bit. It just activates it and then very gently um, brush it on to your project. Um, it's best to go quite light, otherwise you can end up with gold everywhere. But it's just going to really emphasise those details that are on the bottle. So I genuinely have no idea what Dawn may have done. It'll be wonderful because she's got a great imagination and she's so good at upcycling. So please do check out what she has done. This is me just buffing it. I'm just going to pop back forget my chain of thought for a second uh, because I was buffing that because you can because it's furniture grade and then again to unite the gold I am just sort of doodling in a little gold swirl into all of those painted swirls yeah so Dawn is absolutely amazing at being really creative the amount of times that she puts packaging in her projects or just does really wonderful things with package packaging I really can't wait to see what she has done so again, I'm trying to just make this feel right. So I'm kind of expanding the gold by adding little dots sort of out the way. I just keep working with this. And now it's time to stick the bottle down. So the bottle is hollow. So I am going to just basically use loads of gel medium. It's a fairly reasonably priced product. So you can just be very generous with it. And I'm building up little squares of cardboard with the gel medium. This maybe looks a little bit precarious at this point, but I promise you once it's all stuck down, it is stuck down for good. It is not going anywhere. Gel medium has an element of flex. So quite often when things ping off or break, um, it is because the glue has become brittle. And obviously with the air, sometimes the air is moister, sometimes it's drier. Um, and these products that we're working with, like the cardboards, they expand and contract. And that's why things start to pop off. Because your gel medium has that element of flex, it will move with um, the various, you know, atmospheres that your project is sat in. So it is stuck there for good. Now, I am still working on this beautiful mystical smoke that I am trying to achieve. So now we are going to use souffle. So this was my next plan. Now, the problem is with souffle is it dries very different to how it goes down wet. So you're just going to have to trust the process and trust that it's going to work. At this point, I'm like, ah, I'm not really a fan of that blue, um, but I knew the sparkle would be the right colour when it dried. Um, so I was just trying to um, paint in kind of swirls of smoke that would be coming out of um, the the bottle and also I was filling in the necklace um, as well because it kind of had these little dimples in them so I thought it would look like gems if I filled it in with souffle. I've got a second souffle and I'm kind of just nestling little bits of that souffle because it has a slightly different glitter in it um, next to the elements of blue that I have already stuck down and once I've done that I have to be patient and leave it overnight to do its thing and hope that it looks okay uh, in the morning. So we kind of get that down. And whilst I was waiting, I decided I wanted the word potion. I did actually look through my word stickers multiple times and couldn't find anything. So I had to resort to my own handwriting. As you can see, I'm not overly confident with my own handwriting. So we um, wrote it various times until I found a version that I was happy with. This bit of card has come out of my scrap drawer. So I think it counts as recycled. Um, so finally, I think this, I think this is the one, this is the one that we actually use. So um, it's quite good just, just write it out a few times. It helps you get in the flow a little bit. And I'm just going to cut that out and stick it on my project. I did actually stick it on the project while it was wet. And then that was all dry. So it was looking a lot better. But guess what? I still wasn't happy. So I decided that the word potion kind of popped out quite nicely because of the white. And so I would try drawing in white swirls as well. Again, just to unify the two sections of the project and try to bring it together. So I just very patiently tried to do the swirls. Now I started off slowly and I started off at the side where there wasn't many products. And then I was like, I want a smurl, a smurl? A swirl? What's one of those? A swirl smack bang in the middle. Um, so I started <laughs> I started drawing over all these layers. So we've got gel medium, we've got metal, we've got souffle, we've got all sorts. And guess what? That white gel pen 
drew over it all. I honestly couldn't believe it. There's been so many videos on the best white gel pen and I actually bought a different brand of white gel pen based on a recommendation from another YouTuber. But this is my recommendation. Um, this one came out second in her video, but it's still the one that I go to. But honestly, look at that. We are going to um, give this pen its moment of glory in just a minute because I do feel it deserves it. Again, I'm going to see if I can find a link to like maybe buying a batch of them on Amazon because honestly, these are amazing. Look at it. How on earth? Ta-da! So there it is. The Uniball Signal that managed to write over all of those mediums. I just honestly think that's miraculous. I still can't quite get over how well it's gone over all of that stuff. And I'm, I'm still not 100%, I'm not going to lie, but I do like it a lot better. And yeah, I hope you like it too.